Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to look at some battles with the Rock Boys. If you thought Weather Cup would be safe from Bastardon, you are wrong. No Cup where Bastardon is available is safe from it. We're pairing it up with Regirock and Pelippe. Regirock, as a safe swap, is pretty reliably drawing out Pokemon on the opposing team that are supposed to counter Bastardon. Because all the weaknesses that Bastardon has, which are fighting uh, water as well as ground. Regirock is weak against them as well. So you're often going to see opponents uh, bring in Blazikens, uh, Swamperts to counter the Regirock. Uh, but unlike Bastardon, which is just kind of hopelessly trapped in these matchups, Regirock has the potential to fight back with the Focus Blast as well as the Stone Edge. And with lock on, they are charging very quick. And opponent can't really over farm too much before they have to deplete their energy. Pelipper in the lead to have a good matchup against uh, potential Blazing and Swamperts. We lead against the Jellicent. Um, we want to draw out a potential counter to Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel. So I'm. Um, Switching out, opponent goes for the bubble beam. I'm throwing my stone edge before uh, they potentially bubble beam again. I was kind of expecting my opponent to uh, switch out at this point. But uh, to my surprise, they're staying. They keep bubble beaming. Um, I think this is a mistake because bubble beam, as you can see, it's super effective, but the damage is kind of lackluster. The damage is kind of lackluster. They should have maybe done an additional hacks here or there and then just went for the Shadow Ball. And right here I decide, alright, I feel like I wanna get that move off. Um, they shielded once as well, so might as well. And we win switch advantage, we have even shields, I feel really good at this point. And then they bring in the Sand Slash, this is not good. Because this Pokemon, especially with energy, is um, kind of decent against uh, Pelipper as well as Bastodon. Um, and they have a shield. Luckily for us, it is not Shadow Claw. So we take Resisted from the fast move. They shield my Flame Force, so maybe they're weak to the Bastodon in the back right here. I am trying to catch Bulldoze, but <laughs> unlucky for me, it is just an Ice Punch. And right here my opponent brings in their Sanshu. They're playing uh, Sand Slash, Sanshu, very cute. And my hope right here is that I can maybe save the shield for Bastodon, farm up some energy and then throw a flamethrower at the alone Sand Slash in the back. I think it has a move loaded, but if we can keep the shield, that move doesn't really matter. Opponent goes for the Night Slash. It does some decent damage, but not really enough to threaten Bastodon, which has one of the highest stat products in the Great League format. And we shield the Ice Punch and are able to get off our super effective, double super effective, and uh, actually Flame Forward to knock it out. That's game one for us. Game two and another Sand Slash. I could definitely see a Swamp in the back, so I'm once again switching into my Veggie Rock and. There is a counter to the Bastodon. Uh, bring it into Regirock and they actually shield the Stone Edge. Uh, I don't know how much damage this would do. Maybe they also think... I think we could, could learn Earthquake, right? They fully counter me down. They have a lot of energy. We are up two shields though. Um, I'm expecting the Brave Bird right here. It's just a Blaze Kick. This is unfortunate. They probably throw the Brave Bird right here. So I'm using my second shield and then I'm gonna get the full farm down. We get up with a lot of energy. And right here, my opponent brings in the Whisk Ash. Uh, kinda surprising. They probably did not expect me to have uh, the Bastard on the back. So uh, they made a, made a call right there. And it ends up really being a bad decision for them because oh that Whiskash would have loved to see my best son. I wait for my opponent to 
deplete their energy into my Pelippo. And here comes the Basidon smacking down. Bulldoze. No problem. Double super effective. No problem. Here comes the double super effective flamethrower. And Sandslash isn't as tanky and it fades. We face off against another Sandslash once again. Especially to Reggie. Here comes the Swampert. We are getting to our Focus Blast. And this would do a lot of damage. Our opponent shields it. I think if they no shield the Focus Blast, we can double shield, uh, lock on down and gain switch advantage in that scenario. They shield it, however, so I decide uh, that I want a no shield. And most of the Swampers I saw were running Earthquake. This one, however, is not running Earthquake. It is running <laughs> Sludge Wave. It is a Shadow as well, so that does heavy, heavy damage. And... Um, I end up shielding a Hydro Cannon. Opponent brings in a Pelipper. He immediately switched into my Bastardon. I think my win condition is coming out with a lot of energy. I don't think I'm allowed to throw a move. They still have the A Slash in the back, which I believe has some energy. Not too much, but at least a little bit. We take another Weather Wall. Super effective, but not enough to knock me out yet. And I'm kind of expecting a Swampert right here. Uh, or my opponent to try to do some uh, spicy catch. But wait, what happens with the Shadow Claw right there? <laughs> you see that? Shadow Claw was like on screen. Right here they try to catch and we switch out. Immediately farm the Swampert down. We get the Weather Ball off. And I do believe that I have the Flame Flamethrower loaded. I have a shield. So I'm just going to be able to shield up my opponent's move and once again is that the third time is that the third time that we're finishing off our opponent with uh flamethrower against the sand slash i think so all right bastard on right here this is not good we switch into our veggie rock in comes a lantern we're gonna go for the rock uh the rock move the stone edge right here actually getting a shield on the first one And this is the power of Reggie Rock. It is unbelievable how fast it charges to these uh, Stone Edges. And uh, Stone Edges is enough to two shot. And right here, we are actually getting to another one of those. And it is barely not enough. I was wrong with the two shot. And my opponent is on nine. Ah, and they get the tenth uh, move in. And they are able to throw the charge roof. This is unfortunate right here. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get up another move, but my opponent brings in an Obama snow with Razor Leaf. And I think right here I do a mistake. My opponent still has a shield. I think I should have went into my Pelipper because I knew about the Bastardon. And I should have also immediately switched out once I saw their Bastardon come in. I knew that it was in the back. Now they have energy. They still have a shield. And I'm in a horrible position maybe i should try to catch a move but i just thought like all right they threw the move maybe i can get off to uh, can get to two weather balls and but yeah i think they still they still yeah they still have the the bomber snow which uh, has some energy they still edge me We're barely getting off our move and this is just game over i think if i went into my pelipper against the bomber snow maybe all right, we have another bastard on lead. Pawn brings in the Pelipper, but Reggie Rock has an energy advantage right here. And energy advantage with a lock on user. Just a little bit of waiting time means the Reggie Rock will gain a lot of ground over the opposing Pokemon in terms of energy. We can take a Weather Ball, can't take the second. Fast moves are resisted from the Pelipper. So it's not really as threatening. And right here, I am slowly but steadily realizing I think I have an energy advantage enough to just two shield. And we do get to the third stone edge before they reach the fourth weather ball. 
And they're just gonna knock it out. Opponent comes in with their Bastodon, trying to smack down me down, and it is barely not enough. We reach the Focus Blast, and that is just gonna annihilate them. In comes an Arachronite, and the opponent is just top lefting before I'm even able to bring in my Pokemon. I mean, probably even if I would have not gotten off my uh, Focus Blast, it would have been over. With their back when it being weak to both my Pokemon are back. So yeah, that's it. That is uh, the Rock Boys in action for you. I was really surprised by Reggie Rock. Uh, maybe Bastion is not the best pair of it, but Reggie Rock really draws a lot of shields and uh, worked quite well for me as a safe swap. So uh, yeah, if you if you have one, might want to give it a try. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment and follow the socials above. That's it for me. I hope you have a good day and uh, peace out. Whoops, starting the battles all over again. <laughs>